Hey Virgo! Welcome back to the Guiding Chariot. This is going to be your general reading for the month of February. House rules out of the way before we get started. Uh, this is going to be a general reading for all Virgo, Sun, Moon, and Rising signs. And cross watchers if there's any. Um, my only ask is if you take the message as it resonates. If a part um, of the reading pops up, message comes through, doesn't really fit your circumstance, doesn't make sense to you. Just means that message was meant for someone else. Leave it on the table and take the rest. Um, I highly recommend, if you have not yet, check out the Chariot Chats video. Um, I break down the kind of major astrologies for the month and how it's going to, how it affects all of the signs and what we can do about it. Um, so definitely check that out for that. I am also letting everyone know it might be a good idea to watch the Aquarius video. We are in Aquarius season, so everyone's getting you know, a little dose of Aquarius energy. Also, we have five planets all in Aquarius. So wherever Aquarius is in your chart, definitely be a good time to know that. Um, you can get that information free online by looking up, you know, your natal chart. Uh, but wherever that is in your chart, definitely getting a huge download. So I have been recommending everyone watch the Aquarius video because there probably be will be some type of message in there for you, especially concerning wherever Aquarius is. So wherever, whatever house Aquarius is in for you, there probably will be some type of communication in that video for you. All right, with that out of the way, let's get into your reading. Oh, this is, I can just tell this can be a good reading right off the gate. So first card, nourish the soul. What an intense image, right? This little spirit black panther, I'm all about this. But nourish your soul you are probably in a need of a recharge, right? We might be on output mode a little too little too heavy right now. Virgo, we might need some... I don't even necessarily feel that it's self-love. I mean, you definitely should be practicing self-love. But I feel like with Nourish the Soul, this is, this is really on a deeper level of filling your cup. Like, you definitely have been putting out far more energy into things that probably have, like, don't serve you, don't don't return any of the love and energy back to you. It feels like it's been incredibly draining. Like, this is you, like, just, like, black and empty almost. Like, you're just outlines now. And this is you needing to, like, fill your cup and restore and replenish. Because I, I definitely feel like you are just kind of pouring out. Versus, you know... To, uh, I just, I can't find different words for it. But it, it's literally you putting your energy into things that don't completely serve you, that maybe you're not, you're probably not benefiting from in a great way, especially on an emotional level, and it's just leaving you feeling depleted and empty in many ways. Oh, this is heavy. You also got the Love That You Are Different card. Amazing. I love this card. And this card really is just about celebrating your uniqueness. So, and honestly, with this, that almost that almost makes me think that you're doing things you know that are expected are common are usual right you're you're you know serving someone else's needs right you're fitting the status quo in many ways this may even be about doing things that you know the mundane things we need to do to survive but there's a much a much more you way of doing this right now and honestly if you're connecting with that you probably already know what that is or what you'd prefer to be doing right it honestly is probably going to be worth it to explore that a little more because there's something there for you. Then you also have Protect the Wild and Green. And this is really about serving Mother Earth, right? So this is you, you know, working with plants, getting out in nature. But in a, in a sense that is more than just like, oh, I'm just going to go walk in the park. Like, I tend to get like a lot of conservation vibes from that. So, you know, maybe something that's maybe helping to restore a park, do a beach cleanup, um, anything like that. Gardening where you're taking care of, of, you know, your own little plant babies. It's so funny, I have, can't really see him, but I have Call of Sam. Like, he's literally, I'm trying to see if I can get him into frame. He's, he's like right here. He's like, so close. Um, I have him hanging out by the table. Maybe that was for you. Maybe that's why I had to move him over here. He was like, I need to be near the Virgo video. But honestly, I think that's going to be a great way to heal you and replenish you because in a way it's almost like you're giving back to something that does energetically return to you 
versus if you like if this is a work thing and you are just doing things to please the boss and keep the company going that I mean that it gets you a paycheck but it doesn't necessarily feed you anything right so it definitely could be related to that that type of energy so something to be aware of you might need to take a trip down to Lowe's and get a get a little house plant for you or hey go over to your friend's house who has plants and and sit sit with them I don't know any way that's possible all right we're gonna cut this this baby so we'll give him a good shuffle okay ready for this Virgo You know what, Virgo? Funny enough. So this round I'm doing all the signs by by like their type. So I did the fixed signs first, I did the cardinals, and now I'm doing all the mutable signs. I just did the Gemini video and you have a lot you have a lot of the same cards as Gemini. If you have strong Gemini placements, Virgo, I definitely recommend checking out the, the Gemini video. You actually got the devil card in the exact same place that they got it. Uh, I I want to say they also got these two. They got the King of Swords. Like, you might have some similar paths right now. But I'm not incredibly surprised to see this Devil card. Now, yes, this is Capricorn energy. Some of you might be dealing with a Capricorn. But to me, this is that draining source. This is that thing that is controlling you. That's, that's you know forcing you to do these things that are just draining. This person is taking your energy. This entity is taking your energy. I want to say entity, I'm talking about like a business. I don't think there's an actual devil dealing with you, but this is, this is that source that's just leaking all your goodness. So it does not surprise me to see him here. Actually, we're going to go in a different direction for you because I really want to talk about this. The only reason I'm not super worried about this devil is because you have the death card here. This is a rebirth for you. And then you also have the King of Swords, which, beautiful. So sharp, analytical mind. Still very practical, which, you know, is perfectly in line with you, Virgo. But this is someone who, you know, can process and strategize on a much higher level. And I think that's really what, what you're being tempered for, right? So of all the projects you've had to tackle and balance and maintain, it gave you this incredible skill to prioritize and strategize and effectively work out your routines. And this death and rebirth is is you finally re releasing yourself from this devil. Like, you know this is my favorite card. This is also a card for Scorpio, so you may also be dealing with a Scorpio. But, again, to me, it's this rebirth. It's you finding this new light. It's you finding source. And how funny is it that within the, within the death card, it shows, like, trees, like, in a little woodland scene. And you guys got protect the wild and green. I love synchronicities like that. So again, kind of confirming, you should get out more. Like, just be outside. Get some fresh air. Do yourself a favor. Take a, take a little mental break. Take a little mental break in nature and just have a, have a little woosah. Have a little woosah moment. All right. Next column, we have the Justice card. Could be a Libra, but this is karmic rebalancing. This is the equalizer, right? So for all, all the good that you put in supporting this, this whatever, you know, meh, don't even like you, <laughs> that is going to be returned in kindness here, right? So all the time and effort that has been drained from you, you're getting an opportunity that's going to equalize it again. You are going to find your strength and your power. You are going to get all of that back. We definitely like to hear that. And why? Because at the center of your reading, here we have the Six of Swords. Moving on, finding peace. For some of you, this may be traveling. You may actually physically be moving somewhere or going somewhere. And that's where you get this little reprieve. It might trigger this, this moment for you where you start to see what you should be doing or you find that opportunity that helps you get out. So travel may be a thing, but this is really just talking about getting out of stormy waters, moving into a place where things are much you know, flow so much easier, so much smoother for you, where you are back in your power, right? Here you are with the Magician. Great card for this reading, because this is you reclaiming your power. This is you doing things for your will, right? 
This is you creating and imagining the reality that you want versus serving one that was created for you, right? This is beautiful. Whether this is just how you live your life, if this is creating a new work situation for you, whatever this is, family dynamics, relationships, this is you really shaping your reality. So I'm so happy that the magician showed up in this particular spread because this, this tells me that you're on your way to kind of getting all of that back, right? We talked about that with the justice card. This is you pulling all of your power, all the cords you have connected to the other people. And this includes people that, you know, are deserving, right? There are people that deserve our time and energy that we care about and we want to support and help them. But this is you pulling all those cords back because it's it honestly is really time for you to give that energy to yourself and find your own stability and your own grounding. Take care of your own wellness, right? Instead of trying to help everyone else get to theirs. This time it's really focused on you. So we have the Eight of Wands after that. Great, fast-moving energy. Again, a card that speaks to travel, so it kind of echoes this idea. You might be getting away. You might be finding, you know, a new anything, really. It could be a new place, new job, new something. I'm just get that out of the way so I can move that puppy up. It is also communication. So to me, this could also be, you know, support coming from outside, helping, you know, giving you a message of this opportunity, you know, hey, I just want, there's an opening over there. I think you'd be perfect for it. You should check it out. And then we have the King of Pentacles. So look at you and your lovely earth energy. But this is all about grounding, stability. If, if this is a work situation for you, this is you finding your abundance, right? King of Pentacles, well manifested, very abundant, very steady, very secure. This is you building something that is truly going to provide for you and make it Make it so much more comfortable for you as well. Look, because even if you go through this row, the rebirth, moving on, finding stability, right? So you're moving in a good direction, but I think you have, you really have to kind of free yourself up from these things that really drain you and pull your energy away, right? Because that's it's literally all they are doing. They're not interested in you know your glow up. They just need you to continue to serve them. I know that got a little heavy, but just saying, that's what's going on here. And then we have the Five of Pentacles. I'm not too worried about this because I don't necessarily think this is what you're moving towards. I think this is almost the, like, this is what this particular projection, whatever this may be, is making you feel, right? It's making you feel like you can't do without me. Oh yeah, try find another job. Try find another opportunity. Oh, try even get it on your own. That's never going to happen, right? It's, it's definitely that. It's, it's created a feeling of normality, um, comfort, you know, uh, I'm trying to think what word I want to just, like, it can be repeated, right? So you, you know it's always going to be, you know, like if this is a job, you know you're always going to get that paycheck every two weeks and it's going to be this amount. Like, like, it's just routine, right? This is just how it is. And that it's kind of created this feeling that, yeah, try find better elsewhere. Try even find something that feels better. Oh, yeah, you think you can? Try, try. I'll be here laughing at you. Like, it's kind of that vibe is what I'm getting off this devil card. And this is the feeling it's trying to create so that you don't go and, and find this, this mastery level here with these two kings. But, you know, the thing I love about this card, even though this character feels shut out, like, all I want to do is go inside, but this big locked door is keeping me out keys right there keys literally right there nothing stopping you and nothing stopping you sorry you like nothing stopping you so there isn't honestly it feels like there is an opportunity coming or there's a chance to create something that really serves you and oh i i want you to find it i want you to find it virgo whatever it is it just it just we're gonna go through the bottom of the deck in a second but it just feels like there's this need to, one, to break away, but then also really to invest back into yourself. I think those are the biggest, the biggest things in this particular spread, is you cutting off the things that just drain you and serving yourself, whatever, you know, whatever that means to you, right? It'll be different for each of you. So bottom of the deck, yep, yeah, five of swords. It's all that, all those conflicting ideas, all that contest around you. Ace of Cups, this is your self-love moment. This is you nurturing your own heart, nurturing your own wellness and well-being. 
Page of Cups, that new beginning, full of emotional kind of consideration. It's also a very reflective card. Yes, yep. Nine of Wands and the Two of Wands. This is you standing your ground and staying confident in what you believe in and knowing what you know to be right. Putting out those intentions, right, with this Two of Wands. The planning is seeing the vision of where we want to go. And then we have the full card underneath all of that. This is that new opportunity coming your way. Beautiful. Beautiful spread. So yes, you're kind of in this phase where we're we're sorting through we're sorting through the trash, finding the treasure, and, and realizing the balance between the book between the two. So beautiful. Beautiful kind of energy for the month of February. We're gonna go a level deeper and then we're gonna do a little fun thing. I hope you're excited for the little fun thing. Oh, 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 that one did a whole, I wish you could have seen it. It did like a whole dance. Can I, oh, it fell face down. Okay, I will grab that in a moment. I've, um, hey, you, yeah, we're going to take those. There we go. Thank you very much. Oh, bottom of the deck, Knight of Wands. All about chasing those dreams, chasing those desires. All right. Let's see what we got here. Boom. Yep, yep. Page. All right, my lovelies. So, Six of Cups. Now, yes, a lot of people talk about this being past nostalgia, which it is. Honestly, for you in this reading, this is you taking care of your inner child, right? Considering what those simple joys that make you feel lit up and make you feel happy you know, before we start having to deal with society and all these expectations. This is you returning back to that simple happy place because this is where you start to serve yourself and find your needs, right? And that goes along with this hangman, right? This, this is that introspective moment, having to go within to find the enlightenment, to reconnect with this voice because this is truly you, right? It's, you know, once we start to learn that, oh, this is wrong, you can't do that in public, this is, that's where we start to you know, cover this voice with the expectations that, you know, our parents learned and then our teachers learned and have to pass down to us and, you know, so on and so forth. Friends, if you start to connect to people, you know, that's where we start to filter that voice. You are in a process right now of getting rid of those filters and finding that true echo inside of you, all right? I don't know why I just called it an echo, but for some reason that felt that felt appropriate. And then we have another knight. So we had knight of wands, bottom of the deck. Here we have knight of pentacles. So slow progress forward. So it is going to be a long process, right? Because this, this is an energy that, you know, is always progressing, always moving forward, but it's very calculated. You know, this energy doesn't like to take risks. It doesn't like to leave things to chance, right? And neither do you. So this, this is really telling you to be practical, methodical, you know, lay out the plan, you know. And again, yeah, don't risk anything, right? Everything is a little too valuable along this path for you to leave it to chance. So make sure you're designing this this journey and, and following what you think is right, right? And then we have this, this page of wands, but this page of wands is in reverse. So this... Honestly, this could be a couple things. This could be, you know, again, a warning about what we just talked about with the Page of Pentacles and making sure that we are in alignment with our true needs and our true desires. Because if we're not, we're going to be taking ourselves down a path, you know, where we don't need to be that's not serving us. I also think this is almost kind of a snapshot of our current location, you know, where we are kind of denying some of our passions, where we are like, oh, no, I have to do this other thing. I can't do that right now. You know, or yes, let me, I'll, I'll be right over. I'll help you with the thing and I'll put my project on the side, right? Or, you know, again, this is you following the whims of others and, and not really realizing your own passions, your own desires. 
you know, so it could be it could be one one of either or maybe both. You never know. But just know that there there is such an important significance to you really being in alignment with yourself and your goals and your needs that if we don't find that a lot of this is going to be incredibly delayed and pushed back right so there is there is almost a need to be courageous here because this this requires making a declaration of what is important to you what is significant to you what what is worth me standing my ground what is worth risking all these other things but we know from this devil card that you know what doesn't serve us we're not risking losing it we probably shouldn't have it in the first place we're just letting it go right it's it's all those filters that tell us it's a risk but again that's why this is so important we need to we need to find that spark we need to find that passion within us you know it's that fire that's going to fuel this journey Ooh. i got that i think yours so far was the heaviest reading out of all of them virgo you got some you got a hefty serving on your plate and again, it's not, it shouldn't be overwhelming. It's just, it's so important to you and your journey ahead to really reconnect and really follow your desires, right? And it's natural, it's natural for you to want to serve and make others happy. This is really a moment where you, ha you really need to like let some of that go. Because again, you have so much that's just draining your energy. And there's, there's important work you need to do for yourself. All right, Virgo. <clears throat> One little last thing before I let you guys go. Since it's February, Valentine's Day is coming up, and no matter what your thoughts are of the holiday, I thought it would be fun just to pull a little love oracle for those of us who want it. I thought it would just be cute, right? Who doesn't love a little... Oh, there we go. Okay. Of course, I have to keep it a secret worth waiting for now i will say this feels very specific to those of you looking for new love right because this card is all about divine timing the worth waiting for so i do feel this is going to be more significant to my singles who have had to walk alone deal with you know wonky dating life situations those of you in relationships if it's feeling a little strained especially if it feels I don't want to say separate because you're not separated, but you know, you're feeling distance from each other. Or you don't really get quality time together because of, you know, one of you is off doing things over there. One is you doing off or doing things off over there. And, you know, it's just pulling you apart. You don't get to spend quality time together. You're not, you know, feeling incredibly connected as maybe you used to be. This, I think, is just, again, kind of speaking to there's there's reasons why that's happening right now. There are obligations that need to be taken care of, or maybe there's just there's just a need for some extra time apart so that you can achieve this processing and this internal work. Because again, this is really focusing on your wellness. The only person who can really affect that is you. So take it how it resonates, but know that divine timing is working. Things are being sorted out that maybe we can't completely see just yet, but your angels are definitely watching over and helping the situation move along. All right, my lovely Virgos, I'm going to wrap up your reading there. As always, I love and appreciate all of your support. If you like this video, please smash the like button down below. It lets me know how the reading resonated for you, which is super important. Um, also, a little reminder, check out the chariot chats and the Aquarius videos if you feel inclined, especially the chariot chats. Um, if you have any thoughts about that series, please leave... A little note in the comments. I really want that to be a series kind of driven and guided by you guys. Um, so I'd love it to be, you know, based on your recommendations, what you want to see, hear, feel, talk about, anything. So any ideas for that, definitely drop them in the comment section below. Um, and yeah, make sure you are subscribed and have the not notification bell on so you can uh, be notified when the next round of videos pop up. I'm probably going to do, because it is February, I'm probably going to do love readings next week. We'll see. Depends. Um, I don't know if you guys have any other ideas of what you want to hear. Maybe drop that in the drop that in the messages. Um, you can also DM me on Instagram at the Guiding Chariot. But until next time, stay safe. Take care of yourselves. Focus on your wellness, Virgo. And I will see you in your next video. Bye.